Chapter 7, The Redemption, or Every Time a Bell Rings, a Lease Purchase Investor Gets His Blings. Max, you're back, Ralph exclaimed. A little like Lazarus, wouldn't you say? Max smiled. Wow, even for a dead guy, Max still had a great wry sense of humor. Yes, Ralph, you have had quite a night, haven't you? That's one way of putting it, Mentor. Those last ghosts really had me going. Yes, I noticed it, but you really needed a little shake-up to your foundation. No offense, my boy, but you became a complacent, lazy, and unfocused. You and your family deserve better, wouldn't you say? Oh, by the way, Max continued, it did not go without notice by the folks upstairs that you gave special names to the ghosts of past, present, and future. I believe you called them Manny, Mo, and Jack. Author's note, just Google the names or ask your parents who they are. Max, seriously, I need your help again. I have to turn things around for the family, for me, for the future. I have to change the things I have seen. Can it be done? Can I do it, Max? Of course you can. Haven't I taught you that you are in control of your life, your finances? You are always make excuses, blame others, blame the weather, blame politicians, the government, blame your personal deity. But in the end, it's all about you. You have to take full responsibility for your world. Yes, yes, Max, I remember all that in your rules of success and rules of sales, author's note, and shameless plug for the mentor teaches success and the mentor teaches the gut sales method. I got to make some money fast. Christmas will be here in just a few weeks, Ralph said urgently. You know, it comes on the 25th this year, Ralph. Max smiled. It comes on the 25th every year, Max, Ralph laughed. Look, Ralph, all you have to do is apply your knowledge of lease purchasing and the gut sales method. I know that you understand the many different strategies of lease purchasing. There is a solution for everyone. You know, sandwich, sublet, arbitrage, wholesale assignments, consulting, realtor triple dip, and so on. First, further, you have to have an expert comprehension on the advantages for all the principal parties, buyer, seller, investor, and professional. Isn't everything that I said so far true? Yes, Max. I know my strategies, Ralph answered. You also understand my gut sales and marketing system. How to qualify the prospect in three minutes or less by asking questions with redirection, creating the needs and greeds, and the million-dollar rule about why people buy immediately. You embrace the three, three steps of my success staircase, agenda, qualification, and commitment to close. You know all this and are using them, right, Menti? You bet, Max, but I seem to be working harder and not smarter. I just can't get a handle on my business anymore. If I don't start turning deals, we will lose the house in more than I can imagine. I've got to make some money. I will do anything so long as it is legal, moral, and not fattening. Max responded, speaking of fattening, I need something to eat. You wouldn't believe the quality of food where I come from. Can we go and get some real food and I will share with you a few ideas. Max, I didn't know that ghosts had an appetite or could eat. Hey, Ralph, this is a science fiction novel, remember? We can do whatever we want, comprende, amigo? Oh, yeah, I got so caught up in the story, I forgot. I want to take you to a great little pizza place, but as you know, money is tight. Not to worry, my boy, I can take care of financial things. You mean ghosts have money, too? You must have had a good Halloween, I chuckled. Where do ghosts usually make their deposits? Haven't you ever heard of the blood bank? Max laughed. I still see you have a great sense of humor, Max. We went over to D'Antonio's, my favorite New York City-style pizzeria. Max ordered a feast of food, just about everything on the menu. We had fried calamar, an antipasto plate with a delicious variety of cheeses and aged ham, prosciutto and melon. The waiter opened a lovely bottle of Classico Chianti. It was from the Tuscany region of Italy. After the appetizers, we had homemade pasta with carbonara sauce, a marvelous salad, and then the world's greatest pizza. It was, brought to, it was brought to the table bubbling with four different cheeses and homemade sauce. Molto bene. Wow, what a meal. As the food had all but disappeared, I leaned over to Max and remarked, you sure haven't lost your appetite. Yes, food is one of the things the ghost misses most. Now, however, it's time to get down to business. Your business. He became quite serious. The way I see it, you have some very basic problems. Here are some rules to help you solve them.